when we arrive at our venue, we usually get the opportunity to go in, check out the room, get a feel for the room, you know, kind of place ourselves, our characters, where we'll be in the room at what point each, each part in the show. So we might do a little sound check then as well, just to make sure that everything's in order and ready to go. It's a fairly decent sized room so it's important for us to, to, to negotiate as well and that we get around to everybody so that let's say different parts of the function aren't, ice, or aren't you know, left out of the loop. We're happy enough ready to go now and uh, give things a lash. This is our annual ball, a masquerade ball. It's kind of like the pinnacle of our, our year, uh, you know, we're celebrated tonight. And the charity is all about autism and basically just getting awareness out there for autism and giving people with autism an opportunity to function to the best of their ability in our society. I do have autism and that's what I really don't want to do. I just want to be kind, that's all. She's doing great though. You're doing very good, aren't you? Yeah. I'm the manager, so I have to, I have to, I have to appear uh, superior to them. And this is a, a name badge from the hotel. So I'm going to write my name on it. I'm going to write Mario in like really childish writing. Perfect. And then I'll stick it on, and I will look 100% like a waiter from the Radisson. I'm sorry, I don't know where, where anything is. When I drop a tray full of cutlery on the floor, Gavin gives me a serious telling off in his, in his very strong Kerry accent and, and hooshes me out the door and I'm, I'm kind of going, no, it's not my fault, I, I just drop it and trip on the floor. Most times when I come back in then, some members of the public say, that guy was totally out of order. Ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your undivided attention, please. There was a very expensive mobile phone found in the ladies' toilets not so long ago, and we are looking for the owner of this uh, of this mobile phone. If he or she could approach me. Gavin makes an announcement that someone's lost their mobile phone. I run up and grab it off them. Give me my phone. It's not your phone. Thank you. It's not my phone. It's not anybody. I. I've been looking for this everywhere. And then they go, there's that idiot who dropped the cutlery and, and he's going to kill him. And so they've already decided that there's going to be a big scene. And then when they realise they're being duped, sure, it's, it just it makes it even better, you know. It kind of gives it that X factor, so to speak. So my part in the show is a couple of songs into our set. Nyland has introduced himself at this stage, also as Gavin, um, with their characters. And I think it's very unexpected. To be quite honest with you, when I seen the lad uh, dropping the spoons and the knives and the forks and then the head chap turned around and given out to him and all. It really annoyed us because we were saying like an ordinary Joe Soap doing his job. But then to our surprise, the laugh was on us at the end. My God, I couldn't believe the reaction of him. I was saying, that's so unfair. I mean, anybody can make a mistake, you know? And then I was saying, oh my God, I hope that chap doesn't lose his job or that. It was the best laugh I've had in a long, long time, you know? Yeah. 